Hello, we are back again with the correction section. This is the section where we get to go through everything that we've covered. So the exercise that I gave you yesterday, those were division questions from different past papers. And today we continue from the exercise that I gave you yesterday. Some people answered did well. I can just say we all did well. We are just facing one or two challenges. And I believe by this, we are going to improve where we are making mistakes. Don't forget, these are private lessons and these lessons are not supposed to be shared anywhere. Maybe you are saying that, but you are able to say YouTube something. These are private videos that I get to upload them on YouTube. You can only access them if I send you a link. But if you don't have a link, you cannot find these videos. As long as I've not forwarded you a link, you cannot find this. That's why I'm encouraging each and every person, don't share these videos to any person that is not under my teaching any person who is not under my teaching is not supposed to benefit from this lesson this is only to those people i'm helping and they are paying so let us now proceed so after this lesson i'll now give you a, a question that is under what we've covered so far we've covered two parts on the inverse and determinant and how to multiply so I'm going to give you a question on these two subtopics that we've covered under matrices. I see how we are progressing. I see how we are moving. So it is just a simple task that I'm going to give you tonight. So let's progress and see how we are going to answer these questions. So we are given a matrix so we are having a matrix matrix m is equal to we are having a one and a two five seven this was m we also add n which was equal to this was n n was equal to zero two one zero it was like this this is how the questions were so i want to see how i can uh, help you with this how i can help you understand the first question was saying find m to the power t we all agreed and said that m to the power t or any rate under matrices whenever it is raised to the power t it means that you are told to find the transpose of that particular matrix so in this case we want to find the transpose of this particular matrix so this is equal to you say equal to it is equal to what what is the transpose of matrix m so matrix m the transpose of matrix m is where this law changes this is a what this is a column the column changes to a law so this one becomes one two this other one it is a quorum becomes a law five two on that one i'm facing no challenges we are all able to answer that uh, each and every one of you is able to answer that question then uh, the other question which most of us are facing some challenges on so this is m n like this this is what uh, we are given so with this now, how can you answer such? So whenever you see this, just the same as you are given these two matrices and you are told to multiply. So some questions, they will tell you express MN as a single matrix. It's just one and the same thing. So you get your N. Where is your N? Your N is 0, 2, 1, 0. Where is your M? Your M is this one. 1, two five seven like this you are supposed to 
arrange these the same way they are given in the question the same way they are telling you that's this that's how you are supposed to arrange them so you start the multiplication i've always been saying that before you start multiplying you need to predict the answer that you are going to have so let's predict the answer that we are going to have so this is what is the order of this matrix this is a two by two have you seen this is how a two by two looks like what is the order of this particular matrix that is also a two by two if these two are the same then you can multiply these the answer you drop down that one two by you also drop that to there so your answer will also be what a two by two in this case a two by two looks like that so our answer will be a two by two but some people are writing a two by one have you seen the same way i've illustrated so this is now a guide it will tell me how my answer is going to be my answer should be a two by two we start multiplying how do we multiply law by column you get this law multiply it with that column so the first one will go with the first one so you start the multiplication you say zero times one it is zero plus one times two it is two you do that the same law multiply it with that column which is there so you maintain on top you are done with this don't say plus no you are done with this part you need to go to the next part this zero times five zero plus one times seven it is seven like that you are done on top this is what you need to do you go now down you get this law multiply it with these two columns two times one it is two plus zero times two zero two times five ten plus zero times seven zero like that this is how you need to do it finally what is your answer you now write your answer this you say here when you add that is a two that is a two that is a seven you answer it in that way here we've got ten so this is how you need to answer that question this is your what this is your answer so these are things that i wanted you people to answer this is how i wanted that question to be just like this you are done the same way i was answering that's the same way you are supposed to answer move to the other question so if you got anything wrong here make sure you do the corrections so we move to the other question the other question was like this express this with this five four three negative two two one like this this is how the question is express this as a single matrix so how can you multiply this the first thing you need to do you ask yourself a question can you multiply these two matrices can you multiply these two matrices you ask yourself this question is it possible to multiply these two matrices the answer is i also don't know if we, we can multiply them but how are we going to be sure that we can multiply them get the order of their matrices what is the order of this matrix what is the order this is a one by three this is a one by three one low three columns one two three this is a one by three i move to this one this is a what this is one two three this is a three by one two like this if these two are the same meaning you can multiply this you can multiply what you can multiply this what will be your answer this one comes here one by this one comes here a two your answer will be what a one by two this is what this is your answer we've predicted our answer have you seen the way i've predicted it this is how i need to go about it so before you write any matrix that you are not supposed to write you write another matrix that is having different number of laws different number of columns 
these are procedures that you need to do. Make sure you understand this way of answering questions. You understand this way of going about those questions. So this is a way in which I want you to get an understanding. You know how to answer the questions which you are given. So this is how you need to answer them. So you start, you know, okay, my answer is a 1 by 2. So you start the multiplication. This is just a law. We'll go with that column. So this law going, this is a column. So laws are like this. Columns are like that. Have you seen? So this is how you need to do it. So this one will go with that one. So you say negative 1 times 5. That's negative what? That's negative 5. 2 times 4, you say plus 8, plus negative 3 times 3, negative 9, you do that. So you are done with that part, you move to this other one. Are you going to write down here? No, you follow what you are given. You are still with this, so you should be in line with that on top. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is a 2. Plus, what is 2 times 2? That is 4. Plus, what is negative 3 times 1? That is negative 3. You do that. So, you do this. From here, what are you going to do? From here, you say, you add here. When you add here, what are you going to get? You're going to get a 3 minus 9 there. This part, what are you going to have? What are you going to have? This is 6 minus 3. Like this. So what is your answer there? What is your answer there? What is your answer? Your answer is what? Your answer will be, this is negative 6. Here we are going to have a 3. This is our answer. This is how you needed to answer it. Some of you were writing like this. So I was able to see that this person is having some ideas on how to go about these questions. But this is the way in which you are supposed to answer them. Don't, not like this. This is not correct. This is the correct way of answering. So if you answered like this, correct this one. This is how you are supposed to answer it. And these are the procedures which you are supposed to follow. Let's follow this way of answering questions. Let's make sure we understand the how to go about these questions and how to answer them this is how you are supposed to do them then uh, we move to the other question we move to the other question we move to the other question we are done with that we are done with that the the the, the other question was very simple it was just telling you that m is equal to negative two four three and negative two like that it was something like this you are taught to find mt, m to the power t. This is just equal to, have you seen the way this one is to change it? That is 2, negative 2, 4. 3, negative 2. You are done. You've changed. We found the transpose. You get that one? It is vertical like that. You make, you make it landscape like that. Then this one is vertical. You make it horizontal, horizontal like this. So it will come down the first, second, first, second. You just follow it like that. That one was very simple. I believe we understood that part. No one was facing some challenges there. So these are things that you need to do. These are things that you need to know. So let's make sure we know how to answer this. Let's make sure that we practice through these. These things are very simple. These are very simple. So let's make sure we check through, we understand what we are doing here. So we move to the other part. The other question was like this. They are telling you that P is equal to, P is equal to 2, 0, negative 1, 3, like this. And you are given what? You are given a Q. Q is equal to, you are given Q. Negative 1 
and a 3. This is what you are given. So you are given that. How can you progress? How can you go about that one? How can you go about that one? So you are taught to find P, Q. You multiply these two. So don't start with this one. When you start with this one, then this second, you can discover that you cannot, it is not possible to multiply these two when you start with this one. In most cases. So just follow instructions the same way you are given. They have started with P. So you write your P. 2, 0, negative 1, 3. You do that. Where is your Q? Negative 1 and 3. You do that. Then you start multiplying these two. Before you multiply, you check the order of the matrices. What is the order of these matrices? This is a 2 by 2. This is a 2 by 2. This is a 2 by 1. Have you seen? This is a 2 by 1. So these two are the same. You can multiply them. The, what is your answer? 2 by... This one comes 1. So your answer is a 2 by 1. That is a particular answer that we found. So that is our what? That is our answer. Our answer will be what? A 2 by 1. So before you start answering, you even know the answer. This is the good part about mathematics, especially on the matrices. Before you answer, you already know the answer, how the answer should be. You already know the order of that particular matrix. So then you start your multiplication. This one will go with that one. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Plus negative 1 times 3. That's negative 3. You are done with that. You go down. 0 times negative 1, 0. Plus 3 times 3, 9. You do that. This is equal to you are going to have negative 2 minus 3. You get negative 5. Negative 5 over 9. This is your answer. Have you seen this is our answer that we have. So the announcement that I have for you, we are doing pre-recorded video like this is a pre-recorded video. So if you know that uh, the date at which you started these tuitions with me, on that day that you had to deposit the fees, that is your day of payment. Meaning you need to make payment on that same day. So if it, if it is on the 20th, you make sure that every 20th day of every month, that's the day in which you are supposed to deposit. So what I get to work is this. I'll never tell you that your month has expired or you need to pay. No, I don't do that. I've got a record so on that particular day, I'll only give you a grace period of three days. Then if I see that you are not communicating anything with me, you are not telling me about the fees, or you are not telling me that you pay on this, this, you are facing one or two challenges, you need to communicate. I also understand. But if you are quiet, you are not telling me anything, I'll just remove you from the group, just like that. You are si silent on me. I'll also be silent on you by removing you from the group. So let's make sure that we communicate. You communicate with me. I believe we all know the day at which we started. So this is how I get to work. So this is where we are going to end from. Let me now give you a nice question that we are going to practice. A nice question that we are going to go through together. So let's make sure we all submit. We need to make sure that we submit the work. We submit the work. And the, there is a change with payments. So let's keep this number. If you are using Airtel, this is the new method of payment. Keep this line. This is a line that I get to use. This is a line in which you'll be making payments from so keep this line 
This is our number, 2145. This is the number that I'm now using for payments. So if you are using Airtel, you pay using that. How are you supposed to pay? You withdraw. So we are no longer depositing. Just withdraw your payment using this same. This is an agent line. So you withdraw. Once you withdraw, then send me a screenshot of your withdraw. Those of you that are using MTN, let me give you. So this is Airtel. Let me give you MTN. This is Airtel. Let me give you MTN. So MTN, these are the payments. Zero, seven. This is the urgent number. Six, four, eight, nine, zero, four, six, four. This is MTN. So these are the lines that you'll be making payments from. So you don't send, you withdraw. Once you withdraw, then you send me a screenshot of that withdraw. So this is our business lines. These are the lines that you'll be using for payments. Thank you so much. They are all registered under my name. So you confirm when you are withdrawing, you even know that this name comes. Addison Zuru. This is my name. With MTN, it comes Addison Jeremiah Zuru. But make sure these two names are there. Addison Zuru. So these are the urgent lines. This is a new method of payment that we've introduced now. So we withdraw using these phone numbers. Thank you so much. M10, just to confirm with M10 0764-390464. Okay, thank you so much. So let me give you the exercise. We see how we are going to perform.